Hello class, how are you? Again, this is Mamdrea, na miss ko kayo. So I would like to um go over with you. For now, um ang coverage natin is lahat ng nakapo sa Google Class work, including yung asynchronous na building and applications. So you might have received the memo already. So, um, according, you can choose U or S as your grade. I can give you an alternative pre-finals activities and also final for the final exam, which you are required to do an objective also. Multiple choice, syempre. Si Ma, madali lang din. And then, some of the activities. So, for the pre-finals, I would like to give you this um, activities na alala nyo po ba yung ating ginawa sa database management. Here you have the database that was already um, formatted, yung mga right, right column that I would like to show. So sa image, na alala nyo po ito. From your data base, we will create uh, an app. You can launch it by getting an add-ons on your Google Sheets. Nasa G Suite nyo ito or GBAX email. So, you just need to find app sheet. And then, pag na-add nyo na siya, na-install nyo na yan. makikita nyo na yan dito para ginawa ko. So, all you have to do is just launch your um, app sheet. I can do this in 5 minutes. At, um, make sure na you are logged in in the right Google in, or Gmail or Gbox. So, yung um, and it's free. So, you can start it for free. Uh, then, you can um, the purpose ko noon na uh, right Gbox kasi yun nagkakanas. So, RA, makikita nyo dito yung email kung ano yung nakaano. Minsan kasi nakasave yun, nakasync yung inyong laptop or yung computer into your personal email. Okay lang yun, walang problema as long as you can still find this Google Sheets or database that you make. And then, here, Logins, pag, sa simula pa lang, tatanungin kayo, um, yung pag-start for free nyo, tatanungin kayo to log in if you will allow, if Google will allow the, your email address, yung Gbox email address nyo. So, just, you know, click on the um, allow. <laughs> so, sa ating student database naman, kung dito, diretso na kayo pag in add-on nyo na siya, maglalabas na siya dito sa add-ons nyo. And then you just launch it. Hindi mo na kailangan pumunta siya www.appsheet.com So, when you launch it, um, nandito naman siya sa gilid. So, just click on go. Maintenance ng inyong database. Taran! So, on your right, you can see here the prototype or what it will look like on your um, mobile preview and your tablet preview. So you can also have this open it anytime and preview it on your desktop view anytime you want. Well, pareho lang din yun whether you type www.appsheet.com or you just launch it from the Google Sheets. It will bring you here. We are going to do www.appsheet.com. You can start with a sample app, meaning nandun na already yung mga ano, i-upload yun na lang yung table, and then you can create your own app. We're going to proceed and make a new app. 
and start with our own um, app, AIMP316 app. And I would like it to be like maintenance. Kanya. And then I can choose the data. Kaya sabi ko, pag naglag ito yung email account, whether it is your Gbox or your personal accounts, make sure alam nandoon yung ginawa yung Google Sheets. So yung Gbox na lang para alam natin na nandoon siya sa classroom at makikita natin siya dyan. Katulad ko, alam ko So student, ano nga pangalan ng ano, database? So, ay ang aking Google Sheets yung ginawa kong database maintenance. So, you, you will receive an email that would say, here is your app. You will receive an email notification. Again, it will bring you dito the same dashboard. Okay? So, nandito yung inyong kakalikutin. And you can see that um, the Google Sheet uh, table was populated into an app here on your right. So just what it's going to look like on your mobile and then on your tablet, that's how it's going to look like. Or you can see it on your desktop. Ito yung parang prototype na ginawa nyo. So test natin yan, deploy natin yan, yung mga steps na ginawa nyo sa system development. Diba? Madali lang. So, tables um, and columns. So, tables that would give you the source of your data or if you want to go back later on. So, sa ating info ng application, that would be what it's gonna look like that it was created by you from the start, yung project planning and teamwork, kung sino yung mga kasama mo sa, sa paggawa ng um, and the info of your app, yun dyan lahat, pati ang dashboards mo. So, we will go and add some data sa table naman. Here, the solutions, I will have to name this student or class directory. So, it will give you, allow you an options for update. Siyempre, yung pag mag add ka, di ba? Or mag delete ka. Halimbawa, ayaw ka mag-update, you just save it. So, just put it. Di ba, may nakikita kayo? Add button, delete. So, di ba, yun yung mga napapansin nyo. An app. Okay. And of course, the security, the filter, which is later, we're gonna talk. And on this, columns. Ito yung galing mismo sa Google Sheets natin. See? Yung kung ano yung naka-headings, yun din naman yung pakikita nyo dito sa ating um, Google Sheets. So, usually um, app sheet would get it right kung anong klaseng type niya. Meaning kung ito ba ang text ba siya, email or number or image. And then, remember what we talked about in database maintenance were in you have to pick one, only one, for your key um, or unique key. So I we choose the student ID as the unique key as well. So mostly, tama naman siya number, naman di ba mga contact numbers, image, and then email address. Under slices, you can create a subset of your data from your table. Halimbawa, gusto ko siya i-filter according sa inyong mga majors kasi di ba iba-iba yung majors nyo. Kaya i-filter ko siya according sa gender nyo. So, we can do that here and then we just create, create the conditions here. But, I'm gonna make a simple application. We are gonna make a simple application. So, huwag nyo na So, dito sa UX, this is where the magic happens. So, hindi na natin inabot to sa ating discussion. But, if I'm going to be your teacher on your management information system later on, or maybe you ha might have heard this on your database management class before. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, I will choose the most common, which is the deck. And then I will add, rename it again, 316. Um... View options. Of course, I want to sort it according to the major. 
and then the name ascending descending so i will group it according to your major and then sort it so it's gonna be like you want to view it or like you think it's a preview you can preview it anytime as i said you can view it as the calendar view or table view pangalan na natin siya There you go. See, kung anong in-edit ko, binabago din na dito sa right. To display, of course, in the icon. Di ba pag may mag-a-add tayo, meron tayong head or something like that. So that we customize also our brand, a theme, light, dark, di ba? And then color, red. We can add our logo. What? kind of logo, maybe so checklist na lang at konti back to database. And our background image, we can also customize or add it. You can check it. Um, I've saved it. Sabi ka na. So, I show it. And then, yeah. You can have See? Ganyan na ba? Just copying. <laughs> And of course, also we can add another view as well. Me, I will want to add a new form, which is um like I want to add new form. Like I want to for this, and I'm gonna name this new student. So if I want to add a new student and position it anywhere, yeah. All right, motion here. I'm gonna put pencil. The by usually and probably if one we if we not if we want to edit. And then of course see how it's gonna look like on the right. We have to save. After right, I'm gonna save changes. And like the sink na ulit siya. Here you can see you can add up to five here. And then add an additional here. Sa show menu on the left. So format rules, you can also add a new format rule. So in here I'm gonna go to the name. Just name. name. So as I said, you can add five views. So in the text format, the so-called naka bold and malakay yung ating. Teka lang. <laughs> Di, hindi niya nakikita yung pinagagawa ko. So ayan. ayan from not, you can see on the right, I bold it. Tsaka mas malakay na siya. Ayan. Nakikita niyo uh, real time yung changes sa right. Okay. Don't forget to save. You can put here other up fonts as well. You can change here up and size. Or, now let's go ahead to the behavior. In here, you can make some actions. So like, if I want to like do this, um, every time there is some changes or new changes, I can go to this website or open another window or delete. So, Something like that or you can create also a workflow here like um, every time there is changes or new student I will email my boss the Dean so sorry report someone let's say do this Don't forget to say it. Mm -hmm. 
views, primary views, and then the new student views. You can edit it separately. So this is what you're gonna do. You can add users anytime. So for me to check your app or to test your app, you just need to add me here in the users. and ready for testing. Meaning, nasa system, implementation na tayo. So, in system implementation, you can see it on your email. That's... Or, you can install it directly on your mobile phone by opening your email and then you're able to like put it on your home screen for your app used.